okay so now it is like 105 and we're supposed to be leaving at 2 um my flight is at 6 40 but you know gotta be early and i live at least like an hour and some change from the airport and so basically i finished packing my bag but i haven't okay, waited so let me yet. show you guys what's looking like update so here are all the clothes i haven't added any clothes since the last part um i'm really proud of myself for that and here this is just everything else Okay, so this clip right here is sped up because I was doing a whole lot of rambling, but basically what I was saying is that I finished packing my suitcase, but there is the issue that there are no carry-ons in my house, which is crazy because my house is full of people who are always traveling, but all the carry-ons are currently being used. So my mom said that on our way to the airport today, we were just going to pick up a carry-on and I was going to transfer stuff into it in the car you know, figure it out as we go. And so at this point, I'm kind of finished with packing and I only have a couple extra stuff. So I'm trying to think of what extra stuff I can put in the carry-on. And the next clip is going to be me in the car on the way to the airport. Okay, so now we're in the car on the way to the airport. First went to Walmart, but the carry-ons there were just way too expensive. Then we went to Burlington. Don't sleep on Burlington. Look at her, so cute. We found the perfect carry-on. I'm so happy and excited. So then I just transferred all my stuff, mostly shoes and jackets and bags when this bag, I'm zipping it up to show you guys. I love that it has two compartments and yes, mission complete. Okay, so now we're at the airport. I'm flying out of Dulles. I'm here with my family. They're sending me off. And so we went to the United Airlines check-in point and we had to weigh my bag because as you know, we didn't have the scale at home. So it turned out that I had, you know, I was within the limits and I was able to have that as an easy process. I checked in, I got my boarding pass, sent my bag in the machine, said goodbye to my family, we took our pictures, all that cute stuff. Now I'm looking to make sure which gate I'm going to and here starts my solo journey. I haven't told you guys where exactly I'm flying to because I don't know, I feel like it'd be kind of cute to keep it as a surprise so I want to see if any of you guys can guess and right now just enjoy the montage until I get to the plane. Okay, so this is a very funny Instagram versus reality moment that I wanted to keep in here to show you guys. So this was me. I set up my tripod in the waiting area and I was filming some content for Instagram and TikTok. And this was my first time filming content in like a public area. But you know what? You got to do what you got to do. And I got to say so myself. The pictures turned out cute. So definitely follow me on my other social media if you haven't already.
Hey guys, okay, so I hope you guys really enjoyed that plane montage. It was super relaxing to look at and it was super relaxing to edit. So I asked the flight attendant for a blanket and a pillow, which he kindly gave to me. And then I went onto the entertainment system and was just, you know, finding my way around. It's been a while since I was on a plane. And I went to go check how many hours I've left because I know this is a long flight and dang, six hours left. Okay, we're in here for the long haul and I went to go see where exactly we are. And right now we are over Boston. So then the flight attendant came with the food, so I let my tray down. She told me what the options were, vegetable stir fry or chicken. I said chicken, but then she gave me the stir fry and I was like, well, but then she gave me the chicken and I was like, yes, I was so excited to try it out. She also gave me earbuds because I asked for them. She gave me my drink. I got water and an apple juice. Oh, it's like five star dining to me. And this is an overview of my tray. I took out my earbuds because it is dinner time and movie time and I went to go pick my movie. I picked out King Richard, I've heard a lot of great things about it but I haven't seen it yet and I've got to say, spoiler alert, it was 10 out of 10. Like I enjoyed it even more than I thought I would. So I unpacked the food, this is what it looked like and it was so good y'all, like it was so good. Like I was pleasantly surprised. Like. I wasn't expecting it to be like restaurant food like I don't know maybe I'm hyping it up too much but I ate every crumb every crumb out of it and I had a lemon sorbet for dessert and I I mean I couldn't really ask for anything more so now it's getting dark and most people are sleeping but like I said I don't sleep on planes you know gotta get the full experience so I'm watching King Richard and it was so so good and it made me cry by the end that be alive and everything it made me cry so this is me in the dark trying to see if you guys can see my tears so now i check and we have two hours and 29 minutes left pick my second movie dunkirk with the harry styles i've been meaning to see this and this movie was also i would say 9 out of 10 because i was kind of confused at some points because of the sequencing but it was such a good movie and I really felt like I was in like a luxury movie theater this entire time. It was amazing. Okay, so now it's about 30 minutes until we land. So we got our little snack and it ended up being strawberry yogurt, which is why I'm rolling my eyes because if there's nothing I hate more is strawberry yogurt. 
not even just the taste but the smell I hate the taste too don't get me wrong and also this little cookie I don't know why my face looked like that but the cookie is actually really good and then I got my water and I was very grateful for the service and grateful for all the flight attendants especially with COVID and masks and everything and I wanted a little show to watch and so I decided to try out Bob's Burgers which started my obsession with Bob's Burgers I don't know what took me so long to watch this show and now enjoy this montage as we're flying over my destination city and just wait, there's something super special that's gonna happen. I just wanna see how beautiful you are. You know that I see it. I know you're a star. Where you go, I follow. No matter how far. If life is a movie, and you're the best part. All right, I'm here. Wait, there's no one around me so I can take off my mask. Have you guys been able to guess where exactly it is that I'm flying? I'll give you one clue. Je suis arrivé. I'll give you another clue. Beyonce, 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 Beyonce. Are you happy to be in Paris? Are you happy to be in Paris? in Paris oh my gosh I'm so excited je suis trop content I'm so happy literally uh, the flight was I give it a 9 out of 10 it was pretty good it's pretty quick like literally flights I can go on a rant about how I feel about flights because it literally feels like you go in like a time warp and it's like you're just sitting in a shuttle and like I'm looking out the window and I'm looking at the sky but like it just doesn't feel real like it feels like I'm in some sort of movie or whatever but yeah this is my first time being in the French airport Bienvenue. yeah this is the first time of being in this airport but if you know me this is not my first time being in France to be honest I think this is like my fourth time but like as a cognitive person this is my second time because I went twice when I was a child but I don't really have I have like the smallest inkling of a memory but yeah I was here four years ago crazy and now I'm here again this time I flew into France and last time I flew into London and then split my time between London and France but yeah now I'm gonna put my mask on and figure out where exactly I'm going Okay, that was actually super easy usually baggage is like a hassle for me I can only do one thing at a time because I'm holding the camera so transporting my carry-on and now getting my suitcase but literally as soon as I stepped up to the thing I was like wait is that mine because I've never traveled with a suitcase before and I'm like yeah that's mine I saw a little bell on the side that my mom tied to make sure that it's easily identifiable so yes I have all of my luggage with me I'm trying to figure out the Wi-Fi situation so I can you know 
contact my transport but yes i'm super excited that i have all my stuff because i don't know it's definitely a fear that i'm gonna like not have my luggage and then it's like what do you do then so thank you thank you god or should i say merci à dieu since i need to start speaking in french more but definitely this is definitely gonna help my immersion but yeah i'm gonna go to a corner and like put on some deodorant some perfume so i don't smell nasty and it's also awkward because it's literally the morning and i don't feel tired but i feel like i'm gonna feel weird i usually don't experience jet lag but it's just like weird because i left at 6 p.m and then i come out of this fusion shuttle which is what my mind processes airplanes as and now it's like morning and people are speaking french and i'm like you're not my mom <laughs> why are you speaking french but anyways okay so i'm on the side with my luggage now and i just sent a text to my uncle who's gonna be picking me up and um this lighting low-key i'm like this would be such a good picture spot but i'm like i don't know if i have the energy in me and this is a very populated area and like i don't know i feel like the french are probably more reserved than americans are just a influencer bs not that there's not french influencers but i feel like they're i don't know not like okay let me <laughs> set a prop in but this would be so cute but i don't think i'm gonna do it i don't think i'm gonna do it maybe take like a selfie or something but i don't think i'm gonna go full out with the tripod standing here but yeah, i have to go to the bathroom and it's very difficult <laughs> navigating airport bathrooms when you have like your big bag and your medium bag but i definitely need to go and freshen up anyways i don't know what they have planned for me today i have no idea what my itinerary is i hope it's not too much because child not that i'm tired but like <laughs> i feel like i don't know i don't even know what to expect bro and i've been like working on brushing up on my french obviously because you know people speak french here even though people speak english but you know i want to not just be that person that just speaks english and expects everyone else to speak english so yeah i'm I found a way to carry my both my bags at once so I can vlog. But yeah, this sign is giving a great lighting. Okay. Oh wait, I wanted to take a selfie at least. Hold up, let me take a selfie. But yeah, honestly, like shout out to people who travel to foreign countries and they don't know the language like whatsoever. Like you guys are troopers because I cannot imagine like if I had no idea what any of the sign says or like if I didn't know what anyone was saying, like I would feel so like, oh my gosh. Most of them wearing a mask. I feel like very American in me, but there's no one near me. And I want you guys to know what I'm saying because I feel like all the clips in the plane where I was like trying to mouth speak, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to remember what I was saying. But yeah, since I haven't heard back from my transport, I'm going to see if I can find a bathroom on this level. And I was also surprised by like no customs. Like I thought I was going to have to go through customs when I flew into London. I believe I had to go through customs and I know in the plane they like sent okay there's no bathroom over here in the plane they sent like a form that you had to fill out that was like where are you staying and you had to put like the address of where you were going and then it was like why are you here like all this kind of stuff and this was pre-covid but like and I think I had to go through customs yeah there was like a long line I'm pretty sure I went through customs but here's no customs no nothing they said we don't care what you got just come and enjoy your time and i'm here for it because i don't have time for the stress of customs they didn't even ask me for my covid information i thought they were at least gonna like i printed out all these forms online and my, my mom was stressing me like make sure you have these forms and not gonna let you in the country if you don't have these forms and all i asked for was my passport Okay, so one, it's the fact that my brain, I was still looking for a sign that says bathroom. Like I literally passed by the sign that says toilet, knowing that bathroom is toilet, and it even says toilet underneath, but I was so focused on looking for bathroom that like I didn't even see it. And then I get here, not only is it where I was, but this thing don't even work on the going down. Ciao. Not y'all about to make me pee my pants in France. Now I'm gonna go in the elevator because I'm not, that is a death wish, trying to go down a uh, stalled escalator with both of my bags i'm not trying to break my limbs in paris okay <laughs> please but yeah luckily they have an elevator right here we are here okay well hold up a minute this is a really nice bathroom okay are you joking? America ain't got nothing. I mean, we have our nice bathrooms in America, but like, this is so cute. 
see, God just wanted me to have a bathroom emergency because now I can take some cute pictures. Il est dans la voiture. Il est dans la voiture. Attends, je prends d'abord une picture parce que là, on est là. Il faut que je monte. Ça va, Oui, ça va bien. Bien voyagé. Oui, oui. C'est bien. Oh, oui. Je suis content. Trop. Je suis si contente. Let me call. Um, I don't know if this is weird, but I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like on the inside because this is really cool and it's light activated. Like, America don't got nothing on this. I'm trying to figure out how to. It's got this nifty difty, but I'm actually about to pee my pants. Like, I don't, I don't even know how to. Oh, there we go.